So look how dirty this thing is. What a lot of you may not know is that I recently went on a road trip. The grill was filled with bugs. There was also a lot of chips in the paint. Well, this is Plasti Dip, so I'm fine in this case. I tried to peel the Plasti Dip off. I think the coats wear off over time. That's just from my experience. We're gonna be re-Plasti Dipping this part. The good thing about Plasti Dip is that it's removable, if you do it right. For me, I don't really think I did it right because if you peel it, only some small pieces come out. All of it's supposed to come out. I have one solution for this. Dip dissolve. I did some research and found out that this works, I think. I'm gonna test it out for you guys. If this works, then Plasti Dip, I think, is better than paint, depending on what you're using it for. If it's black stuff that you want like this, that you want to look like plastic, then it's really good. If you want a nice finish, then go with maybe spray paint or actual paint. It says to soak it and let it sit for five minutes two or three times and you can just wash it off really easily. I'm gonna be spraying it down now, soaking it pretty good. It smells really good, like oranges. You can kind of see it working, it's kind of liquefying the plastic dip so that it just washes right off. Second coat going on right now, it's been like two or three minutes. test whether it's ready, you just run your finger across it. Oh my god, that feels hella weird. See how you could see the bottom? I think that's a sign that it's ready. Oh my god, this is pretty gross. It feels like snot. We're gonna spray it off now. You guys are just gonna be uh, over here. Letting it dry now. The thing is, it didn't really save the underneath part, but it's good at like reapplying. So I don't really recommend this on your actual paint. Uh, the surface is pretty prepped. I just wiped it down with alcohol. It's for the most part dry. For your first coat, what you want is light and even coat. I'm just gonna start by spraying it now. I think that's pretty much even. Just a really light coat for the first one and then you can just go thicker and thicker as each coat goes on. Now wait like 15 minutes for it to dry. Second coat is going on right now. I think this is the fourth or fifth coat. Okay, so this coat is gonna be much thicker than all the rest. Sixth or seventh coat. They were pretty thick. Well, here it is. This is how it looks. I think it came out phenomenally, except there's spider webs and it's only been a day. What the hell? Not gonna ever turn out really that perfect, but I think over time it'll look better because I noticed that it got very smooth after like six months. Might as well finish it off. This is the final touch. And voila, there you go, my grill is back to normal. Finally. Just like that, we're done. I haven't done this kind of video in a while. That was basically plastic. It's just a really good alternative to paint in general, depending on what you're using it for. Let's get on, let's get on the road now. It's easy to remove. It's fairly simple when you're putting it on some part or whatever you're putting it on. Easier than paint, actually. And the last part, it looks good. 
in some cases. But overall, I think Plastic Dip is a very good product. I really recommend you guys to use it. Start off on small stuff first before you work your way up to, say, wheels. With that said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to the channel and enjoy this content, please subscribe. Also, check them out on Instagram to keep updated because that's where I post fairly often. And be sure to stay tuned for the next video.